Hi, Matt here from Crooks Cabinet Makers. So, what we got here, um, this is a 10 inch Makita chop saw. I bought it really cheap off eBay and I'm going to do it up. So the first thing we've got to do and check is whether it's working or not. So the button from the top's gone missing and I've replaced that with a little bit of dowel for now. We can see it's working nicely. So now we know it's running, I'm going to unplug it and we'll have a look around. The first thing that stands out is these rails are completely rusted over. They do still function. It still slides and it slides really well, but they look untidy. So that's going to be sorted out. The bed has a slight oxidization on it. Um, that's okay, that'll polish off quite nicely. Got a small crack in here. Now those are still usable, but I'll see how much they are to replace. A uh, little bit of cracked damage on the back there. So it still lifts over as it should do and comes back, so I don't see that's a major problem. One of the things the guy told me when he was selling it to me is he told me this is broken. So currently it's, only, it's stuck at 90 degrees. So this whole handle setup is completely shot, needs repairing. Other than that, I've got this very ugly base on here that I've got to get rid of. We've got the all the bolts, all the bolts in the back of the fence here and here for the adjustment are all there. The only thing that's missing that would be good on this one is the post piece that comes up out of there. Uh, I might buy another one of those to put in there because that's really, really good. And it's a very good safety feature as well. You can see this lever here has had some rust, got some rust damage on it. Um, <clears throat> I think that will clean off quite nicely. So the plug's in good order and the cable looks excellent condition as well. I don't like these bags on the back, so I'm just going to take that off and that'll get thrown away. That'll get thrown away. I usually use just put a hoover on here and extract with a hoover. Okay, so I can get full a full 45 degrees on this side, so that's great. And a full 45 degrees on the other side. So there's no problem at all with this area of things. That's great news. This is supposed to move down, and clearly that's not gonna happen. The thing to do first for me would be just to clean that with WD-40 and see what happens. Plenty of it. Let's just see what happens. I will take this off and clean it later. I want to take these off as well. So while I've got it upside down, I've got to get these ugly pads off. I already gave those a quick squirt, but I'll give them another squirt. And then we'll get the ratchet set on it. Right, let's see if these are going to behave. No, definitely not. So we go from a little bit of ratchet set to it's going to be a grinder job. Try knocking that through. Yep. Lovely job. Okay, one more. Oh, there we go. Got those on it. That's been an eyesore. I don't like it. Looks alright under there, no problem. Right, we'll just get the other one off and then we're good to go. Okay, so that's looking really nice under there. Can't see any problems. Don't really like these bars on the Makita. That one's locked in position. Oh, but I'm gonna get rid of these because they're always really, really awkward when you're lifting or carrying the machines. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we got it. But these are, seem to be somehow or other rusted in position, which is surprising. There's something stopping those coming out. So if we look in here, underneath here, we can see there's a lot of corrosion on the aluminium casing and a little bit of rust 
on the actual steel that's holding them off. So first thing you'll do is try the old WD-40, see if that'll come out of that. Of course, you know, the worst thing you could do is stand here hitting it with a hammer. You've got to give it a little assist. This end doesn't look too bad, so it might actually come out. Yeah, let's move in. Yeah, no, back end's all right. Okay, so this side's ready to go. Just like that. Beautiful. <sighs> Finally. So if I can get rid of the rust build up. We might be on to a winner. Finally. Done. I'm trying to take this off and find out what's stopping this from moving, stopping it from working. Right, so I've managed to get this a little bit round so I can see it a bit better, but that's rusted in there, totally rusted in there. So on this very top part here, there's no rust. Well, there's no rust joining, but there's actually a gap down there. So I'm gonna try and get a little bit of WD-40 in there. Okay, we've got some movement. Job done. Oh, finally. Okay. So now I've re removed all that, I can see that this bed is running, but it's seriously heavy. That should be. probably needs just a clean out, and that'll be just fine. Let's see what we got. Okay, I have a sneaking suspicion this is a push fit piece, so I'll just try it out and find out. See if we we'll lever it off. I'm not right. There we go. 
see if we can get it, mate. <coughs> Finally. There we go. What a job. Just that. Blade on that feels pretty good. I think there's an original Makita on there as well. This plate has actually still got a pretty good edge on it. Okay, good. So these need these are going to need a little bit of a rub down and a respray, and then they can go on. They'd be quite nice when they're done. One of the things I like about the Makita is so many bits on the Makita can work with the spanner that they supply with it. So. I've never undone one of these before, so. I don't know if that just falls apart or what. Is that coming apart? Yeah, it's coming apart. There we go. As a finished result, gorgeous. They're so rusted up, they won't come out from there. So these are the plates come off. It's 
give those a little polish up and they're away. Absolutely perfect. Get a little bit of dry lube inside here. And very carefully pop that back in. Work it out as we go, mate. There we go. Yeah, go on, put some weight on it. Okay.
take this and turn on the spring. Now you pull it out, that's it. your answer mate yep okay that should be us all right so that's a good job done this machine cost me 27 quid on eBay I spent 20 pounds on spare parts. All credit to Makita. The spare parts I needed for this are parts that have been lost, not parts that have been broken. And I've given it a, a trial run. Uh, I managed to get a four by three cut on there, no problem at all. And as we know, Makita do some great stuff. Thanks for watching, have a nice day. Stay safe in the workshop.